Brian Jace, it was on Tuesday Guam police officer Mark Anthony Torrey Jr. was charged with murder, manslaughter and aggravated assault for the death of fellow GPD officer Albert Bert Piolo. Today, the courtroom was filled with relatives of the suspect and victim involved in Monday morning's fatal shooting in Jigo. Today, Tory posted bail, $165,000 cash or property. He's a free man for now. Police officer Mark Anthony Torrey Jr. has been released on house arrest to third party custodians, his grandmother, his mother and his wife. Although bail was initially set at a half million dollars, his attorney Jay Ariola argued the amount was excessive. Instead, the Tories posted a property bond for $165,000, which is property owned by his grandmother. Emotions ran high as both sides sat alert, waiting for the judge's ruling on whether Tory should be released. According to Assistant Attorney General Matthew Heibel, the Piolo family opposed Tory's release and the conditions proposed by defense. The court agreed with some issues presented by prosecution. Specifically, Judge Michael Berdalio raised concerns relative to the defendant's father, Mark Tory Sr., a lieutenant with the Guam Police Department. According to the magistrate's complaint, Tory Sr. may be called as a witness during the trial because he was there the morning of the shooting and even provided directions to dispatchers at 911 to his Jigo home, the scene of the alleged crime. The defense noted that all the Tories live in a three-story home, but each floor a separate unit and exclusive from one another. Ultimately, Judge Bordalia ruled on Tory's release on house arrest, but with strict conditions including Tory have no contact with his father or anyone at GPD. He is also banned from alcohol and weapons and must surrender his passport. As we reported, 911 recordings from that night show Piolo phone 911 twice, stating he had been shot in the chest and bleeding out. When asked who he was with, he identified Tory. The first responders to the scene noted Tory was drunk and under a shirt wore an empty gun holster. In Piolo's Tacoma truck on the scene, a black pistol was on the driver's dashboard that reportedly belonged to Tory. Brian Jace, as a veteran GPD officer serving over 15 years with the force, Bert Piolo spent many years assigned to special ops, specifically executive security. He was detailed to Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio and his wife, Attorney Naoko Shimizu. In response to Piolo's passing, they have issued the following statement, quote, I'd like to ask for the community's prayers for the families, friends, and coworkers of all those involved in Monday's tragic event. My wife and I pray that God would bring wisdom, strength, and healing to this situation. End quote. Tory's next court hearing is set for July 24th. Brian Jace, back to you.